Let's talk about the most important thing in the debate so far, which is that my tweet was on the screen apparently during the debate. Most important part of the, <laughs> the debate. Most important part. So, if Jimmy was here and it was my tweet, that would be yeah. the most important part. Yes, that would but, have been um, better actually because then I could bust his balls about it. So far, the sense I get from Twitter is that people are outraged at Bernie Sanders mentioning um, how climate change uh, directly impacts terrorism. Um, and so, look, I have to, I have to agree with some of the criticism. It, the way that he presented that point kind of seemed, though, seemed as if he was like mentioning something out of context, and it didn't make sense. Yeah. But he actually makes a great point. Yeah. I mean, if you look at what our own government says, they say climate change is the number one um, thing that that threatens national security, and that's because as resources become scarce, people are going to fight. Right? Yeah. There's no question about it. Yeah. So. So. It's an unfortunately intellectual point uh, in a non-intellectual atmosphere, yeah. right? And so, uh, would I have mentioned it? Honestly, it, it wouldn't have occurred to me to mention it within this context right after the Paris bombings. Maybe that's a, uh, a failing of mine. Uh, it's it's a correct point to make in a macro sense, but it's cer but but let's be honest here. It's it's not a great point to make in relationship directly yeah. to yeah. the Paris. Uh, shootings and bombings. Yeah, well, I, I think the reason that he did that is the same reason that he immediately went to talking about the economy in his first answer is that, look, we, we've restructured the whole debate because of what happened in, mm -hmm. in France. And mm -hmm. obviously, what happened in France scares the hell out of everybody. But in a much, aside from the horror that we feel in America, every American is affected every day by the current state of the economy. They are not affected every day by terrorism. 99.9999% of all Americans will never in any direct way be affected by terrorism. That's why you need to talk about the economy and climate change, two massive issues that will affect every right. American's lives. I know, but you've got to do it in a tactful and smart yes. way. And and so I, I thought the worst part of the debate so far for Bernie Sanders was right in the beginning when they said, all right, how do you address this attack in Paris? And he spent about 15 seconds on it. And then went to, oh, we the billionaires and the inequality. Well, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Let's save that for a little bit later in yeah. the debate because it sounds a little off putting, right? Yeah. I'm just keeping it real. You're yeah, right in terms kind of, of the, the optics of it, but I think that he has a good point. Right. And so um, now, to be fair to Bernie Sanders in the opposite direction, I thought he had the best point, which then Hillary Clinton uh, agreed with, uh, where he said, look, uh, we need to put more responsibility on, on our Muslim allies. ISIS is coming after Saudi Arabia and some of these other mm -hmm. countries. Well, then you need to take most of the action. We'll back you up, but you need to take the action to fight against them. I think that's the best substantive point so far. They're all basically saying that, but to the extent that, like, if, if Barack Obama could put the responsibility on Saudi Arabia, he would. I mean, until we pull out, they're not going to take the responsibility. So I, and I criticized early on, I know that they're about to go back to them. Uh, none of them are saying anything, yeah. any, anything it's specific. It's frustrating. All right, let's, let's go back.